guys, I'm Tiff. Welcome back to my channel. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, well, a little bit. Look at this man. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tiff. I'm a digital consultant and content creator, currently living in Paris, and today I'm showing you around the 7th arrondissement. Today I'll be taking you to one of my favorite streets in Paris for content creation, a great vegan spot, also one of the best market streets in Paris, and sharing other things to do in this area. So first stop of the day is Rue Saint Dominique. So this is one of my favorite spots for, for content creation in Paris. And I say that because there's a great view of the Eiffel Tower that's a bit less obvious than other places. And you can also get this great shot with this restaurant called O Cannon and the Eiffel Tower in the background. I just love this shot. I think I saw an influencer post this picture before I moved. And when I finally came to Paris, I was like, I need to find where she took this shot. And here it is. you one of my favorite shots of Paris um, but honestly the 7th has so many photo ops like here you can find all of the beautiful houseman buildings with the Eiffel Tower honestly peeking through in a lot of the shots so um, yeah I just think that this neighborhood in general is a great place for content creation. There's also a lot of great shopping in this area, like I just saw Bash, which is hands down one of my favorite French fashion brands if you're into Parisian slash Bohemian style. I love, love, love that brand. We also just passed a really cool library. There are a few boulangeries on the street and honestly a bunch of great shopping. We just passed by a few stores, so I would say this area is a lot more cosmopolitan. I guess you could say than the 18th which is the neighborhood that I live in and it's also a bit more touristy too so uh, just something to keep in mind. So now we are on Rue Claire so the Market Street. So I've been to this market just a few times I think I've been to a few cafes in this area but it's so cute so they have, you know, really cool free legume stands, which again, you can find all over Paris. I know they have a few creperies. I've heard they also have a really great uh, place to get cookies around here too. You can get gelato here. There's just so much. So definitely wanted to show you around this area. And it's a place that a lot of locals come to shop too. So I really want to share with you guys more of the places that locals come to versus, you know, a bunch of touristy places so that when you come to Paris, you can really experience Paris like a local versus just doing a bunch of touristy things that tend to be overpriced. And also, and I think I've said this in other videos, there is so much rotisserie chicken in Paris. Like on most street corners, you can find either a boucherie or just, you know, a shop that's like roasting chicken. So um, I guess something to note, there is so much rotisserie chicken in Paris. One thing I also love is that you can find these flower shops all over Paris. Gosh, everything is so pretty. And I'm glad we came early because apparently around lunchtime this place gets packed. And I think that that might be a very popular boulangerie, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think they say that there's usually like a line around the corner during lunchtime. Ooh, and also there's my favorite gelato spot, so Amarino. I actually think they have Amarino in the States too. I don't know why, I'm like obsessed with this. Rude! <laughs> I don't know why, I'm like obsessed with this um, shop for gelato, it's so good. And there's another flower shop here. Ooh, a place to get some luggage. They have a bunch of stuff on the street. Ooh, another free et legume stand up here. This one actually looks really, really cute. Mm, 
seems like a really good place to come for lunch. People who work around this area must be like, <laughs> they're set, man. got to Love Juice Bar, so this is one of my favorite places to get Aussie bowls and chairs. Everything here I think is 100% vegan and gluten free, so it is my jam. And I found this place because after my trip to Bali, I became obsessed with Aussie bowls. Like, oh my god, when I was in Bali, I was having one a day. And I was like, where can I get this in Paris? And I found Love Juice Bar and I was completely hooked. Oh my god, they're just so good. I'm so excited. No. <laughs> it's so good. I wish I could like send it to you through the camera. That's how good it is. <laughs> Just finished up at Love Juice Bar, got a juice to go. So I got beet, apple, ginger. I think there's some lemon in it too. It's really good. So fun fact, I actually have a really good friend who lives on this street and oh my God, the view from her apartment is insane. Um, and honestly, I've met a lot of really great friends here in Paris. That's one thing about this city. I've just met so many cool people through all of my different experiences. Like I have friends from my MBA program, friends from work, friends from, you know, being a content creator. Yeah, I think that's one of the best things about living in Paris is the people that I've met. found an American grocery store, so we have to go in. Oh my gosh, guys, they have so much here. Living. They have Betty Crocker. I have not seen Betty Crocker at all in Paris besides here. Oh my god, they have so many um, snacks and candy too. These you can get at like Monoprix and stuff, but um, we have them here too. The McCormick seasoning packets. <laughs> I know y'all use these McCormick seasoning packets. I have so much here. Do you have a favorite snack that you like that you miss from the US? I know, I'm trying to think of like... Your favorite like movie snack or... Well, Reese's. They have a lot of Reese's here and I love Reese's. Oh my gosh, they have the coffee creamer. So I don't drink coffee, but um, someone was telling me that they can't find the Coffee Mate creamer anywhere in Paris and we're having like a breakdown about it. But they have it here, so you can find that here. Oh my God, they have Mrs. Butterworth syrup. I'm dying. They have Oreos. They even have like the red velvet Oreos. Twix! Oh my god, I used to be obsessed with Twix. I don't think I've seen these at other stores in Paris. They even have, um, well, it used to be Aunt Jemima's. Now it's Pearl Milling Company syrup. Real peanut butter and fluff. Yum! Snapple. They have a lot in here.
walking by and saw this really cool art shop, so I decided to come in, and the owner was so sweet and let us film in here, um, but they have such cool art. I'm like obsessed with that one. Oh, this is really cool here. I love finding places like this. Make art, not war. That's so cool. We are in Champ de Mars, which is a beautiful park with the Eiffel Tower. So usually this part is open and people will sit here with like snacks and whatnot. It was actually really nice when I had my meetup here. It's just a really nice place to gather. I mean, got this really cute picture of all of us with the Eiffel Tower in the background. But it's a really nice park to like sit, relax, take in the views of the Eiffel. But it's even better on a sunny day right now. It's super gloomy and I feel like it's not giving what we need right now. moment here in Paris I was riding the 6 train which is the train that kind of passes the Eiffel Tower and you can see it in the window and it was the day that France won the World Cup and I don't know what it was if it was the energy or like everyone just being super happy and positive and all the good vibes but like I literally started boohoo crying on this train and I was by myself I don't know if I was coming back from school or whatnot. I cannot remember where I was going, but um, I just remember being by myself and just boohoo crying because I was just so grateful and just so happy to be living here. And I don't know if any of you guys have read The Alchemist, but there's a quote in The Alchemist that says, your treasure lies in the place that has brought you to tears or something like that. And I always now think of that moment when I think of that quote, so. That's pretty much all for me. Just wanted to show you a few spots in the 7th. And please subscribe to my channel if you are into travel, lifestyle, and fashion content. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Super duper hyping with my runners and my joggers for my publicists and bloggers from the dirt and ocean water to buildings across the border. I got lit, I got hype, I got everything you ordered from the day to the night. We do things you never thought of. I be super out of touch. They say I do too much. I might run it up. So you know what's up.